Hello guys. How are you doing today? Hope you are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. This is Phenomenal Pips. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, if you are new on this channel, please kindly click on the subscription button. Click subscription button, click the bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be able to see it. So today we are going to discuss about how to set pending order, how to to place buy sell. Uh, sorry, how to how to apply buy stop, sell stop, buy limit and sell limit. So how to sell buy stop, sell stop, buy limit and sell limit. So that is what we are going to discuss now. So buy limit and sell limit. What is the advantages of it and how can we set it? We can set binding order or pending order when maybe we are busy or we will not be in with trade and you do your analysis after you do your analysis and you know that the market will sell or the market will buy so but the market is not at that level now so you can you can place your buy limit or sell limit you can place it so when you place your buy limit and sell limit the market will not read so the market will reach where you put where you set as your buy limit and sell limit so when the market reach that place then if the market go into your direction you will be in profit so that is how it works for example you set your you know that the market is selling now and you know that it will still go more it will still, it will still sell more so what you just need to do is that you need to sell to to set your sell limit assuming you know that the market will still go down so you can put your sell limit here that okay well, after this uh, maybe you know this zone now we are, you are doubting because this year we are, uh, here now is resistance then you don't you don't want to enter now because of this uh this zone but you can put your pending order here this here this zone here let me use this thing so that you'll be able to understand what i mean let me pause it first so you know here this side is our resistance zone and market really respect this so you may not put your you no, you want to sell now say so you know you can't sell yet because this side is our resistance and this zone never broken yet so if you want to maybe you want to sell and you are not you will not be with your phone you can put your pending order here this way i put my this thing so that is where you will put your spending order in case if the market broke this resistance then the market will still continue selling down so you so you will be in profit so from here now till the market reach here you will not uh, if the market now buying from here this current market price now if the market did not sell and the market started going buy so you will not lose you will not lose anything because the market didn't go to your to the place you place your order so i don't know whether you understand me this is what i mean good so you know this is the current market now then you set your spending order here so this place this is where you put your pending order let me color it so that you'll be able yes this is where you put your pending order so this is current market now so this is our current market price then you put your pending order here this zone so the reason why you put your penny on that here is that if the market broke this zone so that means the market is still going down so that's the reason why you put your penny on that here so then if the market broke this zone automatically the market is still going down so if the market reach here so your pending order will be active as a sell so that is the useful of sell stop here you will put your sell stop because if the market reach here touch this your entry the market will be the sell trade will, will be active so so if the sell trade is active at this one so you will be in profit till you close your trade so that is how it works then if the market didn't block this zone as you automatically you know you have already uh, apply your sell stop here so if the market didn't block this zone and the market start from here moving up so you will not be in losses because the the trade that you place is not activated activated yet so the what can make you to be in losses is that if the market broke this zone and the market eat your entry here if the market eat the entry then if the market started going up again 
So that is how you will lose your you will lose your money. But if the market didn't touch your entry, you won't lose anything. So that is how uh, that is how it works. So let me show you how to activate your sell stop. So let me show you how to activate the sell stop. So let's use one minute time frame so that you'll be able to see it. Uh huh. So let's use a cra a boom to as an example. You know this is crash and I want it to activate it yet. If I do if I use this one, it will be let me show you. So you can also use this one, but I want to I want it to activate so that's why I, that's why I want to use boom. But let me first use this one for you to see it. So it works for all traders, it's not for only boom and crash. You. So it works for all currency, both forex and volatilities. So it works for all currency. So this you will click. So how to do is that you will go to where you will, uh, we, you know if you want to enter trade you click on this plus sign here this is where you will click so after you open your chart click here so when you click on that plus sign then yes you will click on market execution yeah this is where you will click click on market execution then when you click market execution click on sell stop this is sell stop so you click on sell stop now this is where you will put uh price so what we put here is the place that you are targeting that if the market to reach that place you are going to sell your trade the place that you target as your entry that is what we put here and the target here will be your tp that you want your market to reach here will be your stop loss if the market going against you so this is where you will put your stop loss that is one, that is about that then if you want to if you don't want to put your tp and stop loss you can also just put your entry the place that you want your market to activate it just put only here then don't put SL and TP. So then, if you see, well, after the market is activated, you will close your trade manually. Then, if you know that you won't, be, you won't be with your trade, set your SL and TP. Set your stop loss and take profit. So you will put your tip, uh, your the place that you want your price to be open. That is what you will put here. So let let I uh, put it now. So you know, assuming now you want your market to to sell from here so let's just put it which is 131 131 so 131 70 131 131 70 67 99 so that is our entry point that if the market reach there so it's still going to activate your sell trade so that is our target so let's put now then you will target your tp around here this zone that you are targeting here for your tp i'm just using this as an example you know the uh, the spike don't respect sell stop and buy stop oh. but if you want to trade the trend is expect uh, is respected if you want to trade the trend it's easy and it will not shift anything it will activate my automatically but for this for spikes the spike don't respect this only multiple spike can respect it so maybe the multiple spike want to occur here if the first spike occur it will shift your order then if the other another uh spike happen then it will be your profit i don't know whether you understand what i mean if the multiple spike happen the first one will shift your entry then the second one will trigger to your to open your trade automatically then you will be in profit but for trading trend is it will open automatically so without shift, shifting anything so assuming this is your tp your tp will be 131 131 60 then 71 27 that is your tp your and your sl will be here the sl is work well without a uh, shifting the sl will be 13177 7. so that is your sl then is 0 0962 so let's activate it now click on a uh, sell stop so our opening open price is is a uh, 131 131 70 67 67 99 so that is our entry point if you want to place it you can place it like this but your sl is not there you need to set your sl so let's set our sl our sl is 131 131 77 that is our sl don't your tp is 131 
131.60. So place your order. Yes, that we have already placed our order. You see? Wow, I love this. So this is what I mean. You know, the little spikes already happen now. And if another spikes happen and reach our entry, so our entry it will be in profit. So that is how it works. But now, if your if the market didn't touch this entry point, if the market didn't touch this entry point and market went to your SL, so you will be automatically out of the market. But now you are not in losses at all because the market didn't touch your entry point. This is our entry point. The market never touched it. So you are not in loss. You see, you do see it now. So, so it's not yet affected. It's not yet affected. And if you want to delete it, if you want to delete it, you can delete it. So just click on it. When you click on it, long press on it, then click delete. If you want to delete the order, just long press on it and cl click delete order. It will be delete. It will, it will be deleted. But now it's not yet activated. It's not yet acti activated. So that is it. Um, but I want you to I want to show you that this if this thing is really work. Let's use boom one thousand to as an example. Let's use boom. Boom boom boom. Yes, this is boom. So, and you want to sell your sell, your sell stock. So, assuming that if the market touch here, so make if, uh, so if the market touch here, so the market should be activated as a sell trade for you. So, and you are targeting here, uh, here. But let's use here because I want it to activate. I want it to activate now. I want you to see it and as, and see how it works. So we are targeting one twenty. 120 12 then 449 that is what we are targeting as our entry so and our sl is 120 16 0 100 so that is our sl and then our tp is here 120 05 6 7 6 Four. that is our entry so click on this plus sign click on market execution then sell stop so our entry is a 120 12 449 four, four, and our SL is 120 our SL is 120 16 is zero zero one hundred so tp is 120 tp is 120 120 zero five six seven six four then please yes it's, it's activated now so it's wow the market uh spikes now so it, it will not be in losses now. This is what happened. We said sell stop, but you won't be in losses because the market is not yet. Uh, I love this. You know, the market happened. The spike just happened now. But the reason why you are not be in losses is that the market is not yet touch your your act uh, the place that you activate yourself. So before before you can be in losses, the market need to touch your entry point if the market touch your entry point that is when you will be in losses but you won't be in losses now because the market is not touch your entry now so before you can be in profit now so the market need to touch this your activated zone here yeah. if the market touch the activated zone then you will be in profit when the market goes down then you will be in losses if the market goes up so that's how it works the rule for it is that you must place the order below market price so I mean I'm talking about sell stop. You must place order below market price, expecting price to drop when threshold is closed. You are enter into trade automatically. Then for buy stop, you must place order above market price, expecting price to drop to to go up when threshold is closed. You are enter into trade automatically. So that is how we we do the uh, buy and sell stop. Then buy stop. So. This is how we do the buy stop. The buy stop is that 
you know, this one is sell stop, but for, for buy stop, what you're going to, to do is that you are aiming, you are targeting that the market, let's use five minutes. You can use any time frame. So, you are targeting that the market is going to go up. Then you need to set your you need to set your pending order here. That if the market touch my entry here, the market is still going to go up. So what you just need to do is that you put your buy stop. You will target the place that you want to put your buy stop anywhere. So ma just make sure that the buy stop is above the the current market price. That is the rules. If you want to place your buy stop, you don't put your buy stop behind the current market. Put it above. If you set your buy stop here, it will not be activated. So you need to put your buy stop above the current market price. That is the rule. Put your buy stop above the current market price. Then your sell stop must be below the current market price. Your sell stop should be below the current market price. That is the rule. Again, for sell stop, your sell stop must be below the market current market price. Then buy stop must be above the current market price. So let let's set our buy stop now. Let me use crash. You can use it, like I said. You can use any anything any currency pairs to do it. You can use any current or any currency pairs to to do it. So let's use uh, crash as an example. Let me use this. So I'm targeting here. I'm targeting here as my entry that if the market reach here so it will started activated so I'm targeting 131 78.6643 so that is what I'm targeting as an uh so as my buy order I'm just using this you know you can't just place your buy stop there so 131 78 oh the market is already approached there so let me use another yes 131 79 that is where i'm targeting so yes yes if the market approach this zone this uh, my pending order it will be uh, activated automatically okay, okay it's not yet activated because the market is, didn't touch any it did not touch my entry here so if you want to delete it you can delete it here right now you can delete it now but here so it's not yet uh, touch it so it will not be activated so let's wait for it let's wait for you whether it will be activated when the market touch the our entry point let's wait for let's wait a little just a minute let's just wait a minute let's wait a minute let's wait a minute yeah it will activate now yes the market is now activated let's check did you see the market is now activated so if the spike up now you know you yes did you see it so that is how it works if the spike up now you will be in loss then if the market goes up you will be in profit so we are now in profit now because we are targeting that if the market reach here is going to go up so that's how the buy stop works and sell stop work so that is it about that and let me tell you something the reason why i'm using boom and crash for as an example is that i want it to activate it now i want you to see how it works that's why i'm using it it's not compulsory to use boom and crash though. so i want you to see how it works that's why i'm using it as an example you know boom and crash is one minute time frame so that one minute even the market so i know that it will activate and you will see it. that's why i'm using it it's not compulsory and if you want to use it use it uh use it my don't just use it anyhow you see this is why i'm what i'm saying i'm saying here so i said that this zone is a is a is a uh, is a key zone so if you want to put your set stop don't just set that here so that's why i put this a uh, purple resistance uh, purple line here that if you want to put it if the market broke this zone that means the market will still go down so that is how we say we use sell stop instead of you to enter sell from here so if you enter sell from here that means you are you will be in great loss now so that's how this thing uh, how, this is how it works this is how it works so it's very simple so it's very simple now you, you can also put your buy stop now so you can set your buy stop 
around here. You can put your buy stop around here. That if the market reach here, so the market is still going up. So you can put your buy stop here. That is how the buy stop work. Then say stop, it work for here. Maybe you are doubting whether the market will broke here. Or it will not broke there, and you are not you will not be with your with your trade. You can put your set stop here because you know that if the market broke this zone, the market is still going down automatically. The market must go down, so that is how it works. So if you have any question, please feel free to do me or message me. If you like this video, please give me thumbs up, and if you don't like it, give me thumbs down. I hope you guys the best. Thank you very much. I will do another video on how to do buy limit and sell limit. Thank you very much.